Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Ripple signs 28 new XRP production contracts for crypto-powered remittances. Ripple says it signed 28 production contracts for its XRP remittance platform in the first quarter of 2020. The San Francisco payment startup CEO Brad Garlinghouse revealed the numbers during a virtual in-house meeting released on YouTube. According to Garlinghouse, the company beat expectations for new XRP client acquisitions and began to see a slowdown in transaction volume in March as the economic impact of the issue at hand began to take effect. We saw about an 85% increase in volume across RippleNet between Q4 and Q1 despite ending March with a slowdown in growth specific to our ODL. There's a 190% increase from Q4 to Q1. We saw some of our big customers, a player in Thailand, go live. That's driving a lot of volume. We had to forecast 20 new contracts and we ended up signing 28 new production contracts in the quarter. So despite the dynamics of the issue at hand, we were able to finish the quarter on a strong note. Next article is ISO 20022, shaping the future of cross-border payments. The modern global supply chain revolutionized the shipping industry by standardizing the way cargo is packaged and transported around the world. This containerization drove down the cost of goods and blurred the lines of regional boundaries. Today, cross-border payments are at a cusp of a similar transformation. Payment protocols and messaging around the world are fragmented and restrictive, due in part to countries and financial networks all adhering to various standards. This results in closed networks that don't speak to each other, unstructured data, and opaque payments that require high manual intervention, resulting in a poor payments experience. The International Standards Organization, ISO, established a universal standard, ISO 20022, in 2004, to bring legacy payment infrastructures into the modern world and to help to enable global interoperability and an improved customer experience. ISO 20022 is steadily becoming the global standard for the world's cross-border payment flows, and Ripple has been a leader in this shift, and our network RippleNet has been aligned with ISO 20022 standards from the start. Ripple was the first bank successfully migrated to the cloud solution. The Brazilian bank Banco Rendimento is the first financial institution to successfully migrate to the new RippleNet cloud. The onboarding process was significantly shorter than the previous launches, which took at least eight weeks to complete integration. As Crypto News Flash already reported, Ripple presented the RippleNet cloud a few weeks ago. This new technology is intended to simplify the settlement of accounts for banks. It accelerates the integration and set up of RippleNet for financial institutions so that the RippleNet can be used just after a few weeks instead of months of setup. Yesterday, the first bank successfully migrated to the RippleNet cloud. Next article, Ripple Executive unveils XRP e-commerce platform. Ripple's director of product is pulling back the curtain on an XRP payments project called PayBurner. The platform, which Craig DeWitt is building as a side project, is designed to make it extremely simple to send and receive e-commerce payments. In a New Thinking Crypto interview, DeWitt says that while working on an XRP-centered music platform, it quickly became clear that a universal one click crypto payment system is sorely needed. PayBurner got started because we had this idea for X songs, then we realized that there wasn't actually a great ecosystem for individuals to do peer-to-peer -peer payments using XRP. It was interesting to see in the initial version of X songs, the vast majority of payments were coming from digital asset exchanges. People were buying songs for 20 XRP, which was the weirdest thing. Turns out that that's the minimum withdrawal for a lot of these exchanges. Then it kind of dawned on us that actually there hasn't been an excellent wallet for infrastructure that makes things really easy for customers of X songs to actually leverage XRP. The Ripple Executive launched X Songs in December, a new digital marketplace that allows artists to sell their songs online for XRP. There's no fee to upload or post songs, and an artist received 100% of the revenue from their sales through peer-to-peer -peer XRP payments. 
DeWitt says that PayBurner will launch as a Chrome extension and will also be available as a WordPress plugin, making it available to approximately 455 million websites. In the next article, Japanese crypto exchange SBIVC Trade offers new customers free XRP. Japan's most recent crypto players are getting progressively aggressive in their marketing efforts with financial giant SBI now using all new crypto customers' handouts of the XRP token. SBI runs the SBI VC Trade crypto exchange and per an official tweet, anyone opening an account in between June 1st and September 30th will get XRP50, currently a worth around USD 10. SBI is among Ripple's closest partners and the Japanese business utilizes Ripple's money tap service and its own ePay platform. Previously this month, the business revealed it wished to present a service that utilizes money tap and numerous Japanese ATMs. Its CEO, Yoshitaki Katao, belongs to the Ripple board, and the business has actually made numerous XRP payments to investors of its Morningstar subsidiary. So I guess if you open a new account um, between June 1st and September 30th, you will get 50 XRP. We're going to finish off this video with a final thought. Every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. Remember, guys, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. And we will catch you in the next one.